this is a fitting send off. This is, you know, it feels right. It feels, you know, like we're doing justice to what is not just a fantastic film, but a fantastic series. I think in the world, I don't think has ever seen a premiere this big. It's the red carpet's apparently three quarters of a mile long, and there's more than 8,000 people here. So if anyone can top that, I'll be pretty amazed. Um, I mean, I just feel incredibly privileged to be part of something that is so loved and that people are prepared to camp out for for three days and, you know, it's, it's just amazing. I can't believe it. The sun is shining at last for us. I feel that I, it's just perfect. It's just wonderful. It's an amazing feeling for me. I feel very overwhelmed and I'm struggling to find enough adjectives to describe it, to be honest. Um, they're just... I. I never got emotional throughout the whole of the filming of the last film. I never really understood, I never got the concept of it being the end. Um, or I never understood the, the gravitas that that, that carried. Um, and then I arrived here and you've got all these people, 8,000 people in the square, people across the street trying to get a glimpse and I just, it blew me away. Uh, it's surreal. We're, we're quite, we're, well, quite lucky. We're very lucky to be walking out here. Everyone seems to know our names. And uh, we can't wait just to just to keep meeting everyone here. You know, they, they really have blown us away with just the attention and, and love they've given us. It's really so sort of surreal. I'm, it's sort of like lifted out of my body, being like, this isn't really happening, but it is. Scared. Can't talk. It's amazing. Uh, well, I knew it was going to be in uh, Trafalgar Square uh, about three, two, three, four months ago. And it's like, yeah, right. But uh, we've kind of filled it. It's overwhelming. I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm walking along the alleyways surrounded by 8,000 children all wanting autographs, and I'm being overwhelming. I don't know what to do. I sign the autographs, Michael Gamble, and then it turns into Mugga Gugga. If you can't keep it up, it's Mugga Gugga. David, how does it feel? It feels rather special. Yeah. It's like nothing I've ever experienced before and probably never experience again. Julie? That's exactly how I feel. And exciting... And I've got, I found it quite moving when I got up there and saw all those people. I was quite sort of touched by it. I stood on the podium and there was chance of Neville, Neville, Neville. And um, I suddenly realised that was the last time I was going to have that in London. And uh, I suddenly realised the occasion. Well, I feel terrible. It's a very bittersweet feeling. I don't want it to end. Uh, I've loved being in the films. And people have loved watching them. And it's, uh, it's frankly tragic that it's all come to an end. That's wonderful. It's absolutely marvellous. And... I knew we were going to go out with a big bang, but this is extraordinary. I have to go back, haven't I? It's a suicide mission. The boy who lived. Come to die. In a sentence, I'd describe it as being uh, the film that the fans have, have been waiting for for a long time and the ones that they really, really deserve, and I hope they bloody enjoy it, because uh, they, they do deserve it. You can expect that the 10-year tease will pay off because all of the directors so far have been slightly hamstrung by not being allowed to deliver the ending. And this is an ending like no other. It's epic and it's emotional and I think it brings the series to the conclusion that it deserves. It's uh, the culmination of an impressive and important series which will fill your heart with pleasure and with terror. It's so action-packed that you have to have seen part one before you see it, because it doesn't, pick, it doesn't explain what's happened before, um, which is brilliant for a film like this. Uh, it's operatic in scale in terms of battle, death and destruction with a really strong emotional core. I'm finding hard to string sentences together at the moment. Um, but, yeah, just this, just amazing, epic war of just love, death and everything. It's got everything in it. It's, just, it's great. Imagine the best... Harry Potter movie ever and then times it by four and then maybe you'll have what we made. I mean, it's, it's incredible. It is light years ahead of anything we have done in the past. It is so far and away the best film. Not just within the series, but it is standalone. It is a brilliant film. I think everyone will see that and I'm, I'm really excited for people to see it.